Hey, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today I'm gonna to be discussing how to improve your bait casting skills with a little bit of practice. Now I do that by purchasing the South Bend practice weights and I get them off of Amazon. They literally cost four to five dollars. They're super lightweight, but they really will help you improve your skill before you get to the water and that's where it really matters. So let me show you a fun way to do this. You can do it in your backyard or anywhere for that matter. You just grab a cup, a couple cups. I'm gonna be using some dominoes and you get out there and make it happen. All right guys, so the first important thing that I would recommend that you do is watch my fine tuning video and I'll put a link down in the description. Fine tuning your reel and making the proper adjustments is ultimately gonna build your confidence and make casting that much more easier. And also, for beginners, I always recommend a fluorocarbon or mono fishing line. In my opinion, it's just my opinion, so don't go crazy, you keyboard warriors. These will help prevent bird's nests by utilizing mono. It won't eliminate or anything, but it'll help you get them out quicker. And in my opinion, it's just easier uh, to use than braid, especially if you're new. So let's go ahead and uh, get to practicing. All right, so making the adjustments that are necessary is by adjusting the tension knob and then, of course, the cast control element over here on the left hand or the right hand side, depending on if you're left or right handed. But the ultimate goal that you want to accomplish is to make sure your lure or casting weight in this scenario can fall to the ground without bird nesting, just like so. Alrighty, so a few casts that you really want to work on, guys, is your overhand cast, your pitch, and, of course, your roll cast. And it's more like a side cast. Um, but one that I really use a lot of is the pitch and the side cast. I mean, I use them all a lot, but those are the three primary ones. I mean, there's flipping, all, all kinds of other things when you're getting you know really involved but really right now what we want to work on is the overhand the pitch and the side the side roll cast so let's do that so the first cast that i'm going to focus on i put up a bunch of dominoes a couple little cups and check out that beautiful red solo cup there in the middle guys that's for you uh, light drinkers you lightweights out there what i want to go ahead and do is pitch to these small objects and targets and this is going to help improve the accuracy while getting uh, control of your bait caster. So let's do it. One. Two. A little low with the trajectory on that one. Holy cow, it's just missing it by a centimeter. All right, so the small targets have been conquered. doing when I was pitching here is I'm holding the rod with my right hand in the reel and I'm engaging the reel and I'm holding the bait in my left hand and what I'm doing is I'm loading tension on that rod while using my wrist and forearm to flip out and as I'm flipping out I'm letting out the line and then stopping it with my thumb before it reaches its target. So just like so. One thing you can use, like I was stating before, is a larger target and just flip into it and just practice doing that. You know, it's something that's easy and you can just keep flipping into that. Or I'm sorry, you could keep pitching into that and just getting familiar with how to do so. You know, and just practice that motion. The more you do that, the easier and the more natural this is going to come 
you know, you don't have to be very aggressive, be very subtle and fluid with your motions. The more you practice it, like you can sit here and do this all day long after you get, you know, increase your skill level with your bait caster. All right, so that's how you pitch. Now let's go ahead and practice the overhand cast. All right, so now I'm gonna show you, give you some tips on the overhand cast. Now with the overhand cast, what I see a lot of people doing is they're very jerky. You know, they're just straight back, straight forward. Instead, you wanna have an arch, guys, a fluid arch. I like to place my right hand, since I'm right-handed, on the bait caster. You would do this opposite if you're left-handed. And then take your left hand and pivot, just like so. And a lot of people have bird's nests is because they do that jerky cast. If you go straight back to forward, then what happens is there's a big gap in between and there's not constant pressure on the spool and therefore it goes from dead stop to 110 percent speed and then you get the spool spinning rapidly and you get your bird's nest so try to practice that fluid motion and give yourself a nice target such as this little fire pit i'll be using here let me show you And guys, so you want to make sure that you let out about, I don't know, a foot of line when you're casting overhead. And that'll give you enough momentum, enough uh, line, so that way you can get nice and fluid cast. All right, so now what I'm going to do is show you the roll cast. And this is a great little cast, guys, especially once you're trying to skip under docks, things like that. This is, a, this is one that you're definitely going to want to use. I just hit both of them at the same time. That would have been awesome to put on video. All right, so now, guys, what I'm doing with this uh, side roll is you're essentially just doing a barrel roll, going in a circular rotation until your lure comes out to the other end. So it's building momentum, and then you're letting it go just as it, it turns over. And this is how you get those low trajectory shots very accurate side shots. There's one. So close. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, comment below. And um, if you want more pointers like this, let me know. Maybe I can make something even more detailed. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.